How about that Titans defense? Hit, sack, lost the ball. The Titans defense was all over Patrick Mahomes. The Titans defense destroyed them. If A.J. Brown and Julio is healthy, don't know if I want to see this. I don't want to see it. What a throw! What a catch! Direct snap, Henry. He throws in the end zone. That is wide open. Oh. The Titans are planet killers. Like, they ended the, the MVP Ravens a couple years ago. They ended the Tom Brady Patriots, and I think they ended the Chiefs. I think Tennessee absolutely smacked them. Welcome to the Titans Blitz. I'm Lance Smith. We're coming off some major wins. Let's talk about it because we got Mark Mariani in the house right here. Our own hype man. Oh, you know it, man. You bring the hype, hey, man. I'm glad to have you here. It's, it's really easy to do after this last couple weeks, man. You keep what? bringing me in here after a big win like that, and I got your energy all day long. Uh, we're going to talk about it. We're going to talk about it because, listen, I mean, the, the Bills game, as big as it was Monday Night Football, this last game against the Chiefs, the sweetest dessert you could ever ask for after a meal. Oh, I mean, dude. It's... And, and this was the number one ranked offense in the league coming in here on a historic pace for points. Um, and we'll see the highlights, man. But we came out and, and put a show on. And, and honestly, we're, we're starting to get the attention we deserve. Yeah, we absolutely were. Of course, you know, you drop the Jets game, and that just keeps them guessing a little bit. That's all it was. It's the yeah. long play by Vrabel. <laughs> I get it. Uh, we're going to get into it. But, yeah, I mean, it's, we're on a roll. We're on a roll. And, and before we get into the game, hats off to the crowd, because y'all are bringing the noise yeah. at Nissan. For sure. So, uh, Mr. Mariani, shall we do this? Let's do it, man. I want to see all these highlights. Hot takes with Mark right here. Uh, first of all, getting into it, um, you know, I don't, I don't, I think Vrabel likes the ball in the second half. But okay, yeah. so we don't get the toss, and we got to take the ball first. We got hot. Early. Listen, man, this was a huge point in the game here. We come out and we set the tone. We yeah. smack them in the mouth. Then they get the ball. They punt it to us. And we go nine plays, 97 yards, and take a 14 nothing lead at, at middle of the first quarter. I it, mean, this was an unbelievable way to start this game. It was a near-perfect game. I mean, honestly, just like you said, I mean, it was really all about the first half. Totally. The second half was just about controlling the situation. The game was won in the first half. Uh, lights out play. Offense was clicking because we've got all that firepower on the field. Take a look at some of these stats, though. The stats alone in the first half. Uh, these are total plays in just the first half. 43 to Kansas City's 18. Uh, 277 yards to KC's 67. That's just total. In the first downs, 19 to KC's 4. And uh, all because of this. Time of possession, 23-16 to their 644. Ownership. Listen, and what, then turnovers. What everyone wants to talk about, you know, how bad KC looks. It might be the end of their season, whatever. And you got to give, you know, got to give a juggernaut that's been top of the AFC all their credit. Sure. But when you got an opponent in here that comes in on the edge, it's not bad when you just start the game. You just give them a little boot right off the edge, baby, <laughs> right? to start set the tempo. And that's what we did in the first half. They got punched in the mouth early. That's true. Uh, well, it wasn't just about the offense, as we're talking about. The defense had a day. Uh, we saw that front four. We only blitzed one time. That Unbelievable. Front four was just having lunch. If we can keep these guys healthy, I'll tell you what, we are leading the league in QB pressures right now. And that front floor, front floor with Simmons and Autry in the inside, just, just mucking things up in there. And obviously Harold Landry and Bud Dupree on the outside. Yeah. This is really fun to watch. And I guarantee opposing quarterbacks do not want to see this defense anytime soon. Dupree there with his first sack, strip sack actually. Autry had a couple, Landry gets one. Uh, and they're just the pressures, even if they, even if it's not a full sack, the pressures. I would like to give this this back end credit as well, guys, because even when Mahomes had a couple seconds, mm -hmm. we were covering them up, I and mean, yeah. we were bringing guys off the practice squad. We had guys stepping up, uh, you know, Elijah Molden and Greg Maven and these guys just covering these dudes down the field. It was really fun to watch a total team effort. Absolutely, uh, David Long Jr. Yeah, look at this total sack total. So we had 19 total sacks in 2020. We have 17 so far this year, uh, <laughs> and we're we're just getting warmed up. But you're right, the heavy coverage on the back end 
Uh, it's a it's a perfect complimentary game, and it was so exciting to see as a Titans fan because it's like this is 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 our potential realized. Well, and you can be so dynamic on defense when you can get pressure with just your front four. Mm -hmm. When you get pressure with your front four, the back end can do whatever they want. And when you got Rashawn Evans and David Long Jr. flying around, you got the back end covering dudes. Yeah. That is a nasty recipe for other offenses. It most certainly is. Uh, and then getting back to the offensive side of things, you know, they talked about pick your poison in the offseason with Derek and AJ and Julio and Tannehill. Tannehill, because look, let's face it, they quote unquote shut Henry down with 86 yards. I mean, he had over 100 total scrimmage yards, uh, but they, they sold out on Derek, and that's fine. We wanted to see what could happen because this is what they did to us in the AFC Championship game. They sold out on Derek, but this time with all this firepower, Tannehill's hot. Give, give Derrick Henry all of, his, all of his credit. He deserves it. But Ryan Tannehill is what makes this offense go. You need a, you need a uh, third down with your legs. You need me to throw a deep ball. You need me to pull the ball and run. Show me that finger roll. Let's see. There it, it. is. There you go, baby. <laughs> there you go. This guy, not only will he do whatever it takes to win 11 comeback wins yeah. in his first 30 games or whatever it is, not only will he do that, but at the podium after the game, he'll get all, all the credit to yeah. everyone else, respect to the opponent. I love the way this guy leads this football team. Absolutely. And they love Love him. Full respect for the guy. He's in control. Uh, and then finally, we'll keep it short and sweet. He had a day. We, he's been sick. He's been a little injured. A.J. Brown with uh, eight receptions, 133 yards, and a touchdown. A.J. had a day. Uh, and a lot of it, too. Hey, it's the pick your poison again. Julio's on the field. You were talking about this off camera. Yep, love seeing it. Love so, seeing this from this guy. A.J. Brown can do it all. Get the ball in his hands with Julio on the field. AJ just licks his chops seeing the single coverage, man. You want to play single coverage against a big physical dude like this all day long. Tannehill sees it and he takes advantage, run after the catch. AJ can do it all, man. If, if these two guys, if these two horses can keep it up, we are going to be nasty on offense. It is a good time to be a Tennessee Titan fan. All right, well, there's lots of memorable moments. Here's some Nissan memorable moments right now. Stick around. We've got more Titans Blitz on the other side. We will be right back. Now going in motion, Tannehill, direct snap, Henry, he throws in the end zone, man is wide open, caught, touchdown, Titans, Michael Pruitt! Tannehill rolling right, he can run this in. Let's have a little finger roll! Touchdown, Titans, as Tennessee is rolling over Kansas City with 2.48 remaining in the half. Titans Blitz coming at you from Nissan Stadium. I'm Lance Smith, hanging out now with comedian DJ Pryor right here. Yeah. TJ, thank you. Nobody dresses as good. I, this is this is choice. Oh, this you stop nice. it, Lance. I this whole thing. <laughs> I couldn't pull it off, man, but I'm loving it. <laughs> thank uh, you. Man. You having fun this season? I am having a great time, man. I this this. This game right here was just insane. Uh, congrats to the Titans, man. Like, yeah, they, right? they did that. It's our moment they right now. That. It's our moment. So let me ask you, though, this, because you're getting the full sort of uh, NFL experience this season. Yeah. Uh, Bills game, Monday Night Football. Bills fans, Chiefs fans, who's... I will say that the Bills Wild. fans are way more disrespectful. <laughs> okay, uh, yeah, we figured. But, but, we figured. But, but Chiefs fans are more polite. Okay. Uh, but they're still aggressive in competition. But it's fun competition. They, they won the um, Super Bowl a couple years ago. That's their thing. Yeah. yeah. So, so they were, and they remind you of that often. Yeah. Uh, but I was like, yeah, you're only as good as your last win. And yeah. Today, you're not going to do it. Right? They, they didn't have a lot to chirp about in this I game. Like, I like using "you're not in Kansas anymore." That was my favorite line for everybody. That also, was really good. also, uh, <laughs> I learned something about you. Okay. Not much on the heights. No, not at all. It's not really my thing. Uh, so I wanted to do something that really. Uh, I, you know, I really challenged my fears. I just get in there. Uh, and I that's told what I did. you to go up to the 300 you just did. to check out the view. I said this before I realized you, you, were, you were afraid of heights. Yep. I really love this right here. Here we go. Are you ready? Yep. You're going to be afraid of heights sitting in the go. chair? Yep. Here's uh, DJ Pryor and all tightened up. Check this out. Ready to go? I don't even want to the What am I talking about? I'll tell you, this, this is called a very sexy black man afraid of heights. You see, 
I'm on a mission to see if you can experience the hype of the game anywhere in Nissan Stadium, even in the 300s. I gotta know. Go Titans! We really had up. Look how stupid I look. Yes, yes, I am posing as Spider-Man right there. Hey man, I had to do something to distract myself from how high I was. I call this episode 300. It's a beautiful day for a victory, a beautiful day for a victory. It ain't gonna work out the way you think it is, I promise you that. You about to see, Kansas City. You're not in Kansas anymore, Toto. At running back, number 22, the king himself. Here's the pressure up the middle. Sack! Oh, oh. Tannehill with a deep throw. Oh. How you doing? Everybody good? See, they say, they say no standing. They standing there, see? These Chiefs fans just refuse to listen. You right. I can do it, brother. All right, pound it. So we're going to try to go up to the 300 with people around. See, I can do 300 when ain't nobody around. When well, it's a lot of people, somebody can push you and you just... Oh, Jesus! Getting higher. We got this. You just gotta go to the top. Oh! Come on, man. Yeah! Sure do, my fellow Titan buddy! Woohoo! Let's go, Titan! Get in there, let's go! Like, I feel like this is the step you go right before heaven. Right here, Eastside Stadium. This is it. He's hit, he lost the ball. The Titans have it. The Titans have recovered right at midfield. I'm going to be honest with you. I don't feel that confident for you guys right now. Touchdown Titans as Tennessee is rolling over Kansas City. Tennessee 27, Kansas City 3. Stuff. Oh stuff. man, I'm having a great time, man. I want to thank all the people who supported me as I climb that treacherous <laughs> mountain of they the 300. They were there to catch you. They were. Anything. You could do it. You, you could do it. It was great. It was great, man. Not much on the heights, but what of you? Yeah, man. Especially when it was you're winning. Great. Yes, exactly. Yeah. It was a great time. It was, and, and you know, and it's great because we we own them throughout the game. Oh man. So you really never had any pushback. Not at all. That one guy was so angry. He was so mad. I just kept whispering stuff the whole game. Man, this ain't looking good for you, brother. <laughs> it's not. You should just leave. I'd just leave. I wouldn't stay. I love it. DJ <laughs> Pryor, everybody. Thank you. Thank you so much, Thank Good to see you. We'll see you again soon. Yes, sir. Stick around. We've got more Titans blitz on the other side. Titans trivia gauntlet. We are back. <laughs> Welcome back to the Titans blitz coming to you from Nissan Stadium. Lance Smith here with you. And it's now time for my favorite segment. Roll it. It's, it's been spooky all year, not just for Halloween. Tight trivia gauntlet. Uh, here we go. I've got a series of questions that I'm going to ask. Andre and Brandy, how are you guys doing? Pretty good. Yeah, you good? Yep. Okay. I understand you know each other? Yep. <laughs> okay. You are Boyfriend dating? Girlfriend. Yep. Boyfriend, yep. Girlfriend. How adorable. <laughs> this is going to be awesome. We'll see if you're still in a relationship after this. So Andre here, Brandy here. Who won the coin toss? I did. Andre won. And you're, oh, it's not even being chivalrous and giving it yeah. to her. Let's get into yeah. it. Uh, first question, multiple choice. Here we go. Uh, Andre, on first down, how many yards are needed to move the chains? 10, 5, 15, or 12? 10. Yeah, 12, I think, is candidate. It is 10. You have one point on the board. Brandy, next question for you. Who is the Tennessee Titans controlling owner? Is it John Robinson, Jerry Jones, Amy Adams Strunk, or Amy Grant? Amy Adams Strunk. Amy Adams Strunk is correct. If you said baby, baby, it might have been Amy Grant. Okay, moving on to uh, question number two. You're both tied up here. Andre, after the Oilers relocated from Houston to Tennessee, what was their first home stadium in Tennessee called? Vanderbilt Stadium, Liberty Bowl, Neyland Stadium, or the Coliseum? Andre, what say you? 
multiple choice. The Coliseum? The Coliseum, no, that is incorrect. We had a Coliseum. Liberty Bowl, because we're talking about Memphis. Played a little while there as the Tennessee Oilers. We don't talk about it much. Uh, <laughs> moving on, next question. Here we go. Take control here, Brandy. And what part of Nashville is the Titans practice facility currently located? I understand you're from Alabama, so here's multiple choice. Uh, Bellevue, Antioch, Bellmead, or Metro Center? Metro Center. Oh, she knew it right away. Yeah. <laughs> she knew it right away. Andre, she's winning. Yeah. <laughs> Andre, she's winning. Here we go. Uh, next question. Which Titans player? is the proud owner of a taxidermy beaver named Steve. We're going deep on this one. Is that Taylor Lewan, Roger Saffold III, Ben Jones, or Julio Jones? Who owns the taxidermy beaver in the locker room? Taylor Lewan? Taylor Lewan, he wasn't confident, but he knows a guy like Taylor yeah. is gonna own something <laughs> like this. All right, to take the lead once again, Brandy, here we go. What jersey number did Derrick Henry wear during his rookie preseason in 2016? Two, 12, 22 or 32? Two. What do you wear in college? Yeah, you knew it. You knew it. There we go. Final question. Here we go. Uh, who has started, Andre, who has started the most games in Titans Oilers franchise history uh, at the left offensive tackle position? Michael Roos, Taylor Lewan, Brad Hopkins, or Bruce Matthews? Left tackle, uh, most starts. Bruce. Matthews? You're going to say Bruce Matthews. Who's, what do you say? You're going with Bruce Matthews? I would go with Bruce Matthews. You're going with, they, he, he played a lot. It was actually Brad Hopkins. Brad Hopkins, but that means Brandy's your big winner. Yeah. Man had a boo boo boyfriend. <laughs> Listen, you can let him play with this. It's a signed mini helmet by Julio Jones. <laughs> there you go. You can play with it sometimes. There you go, Brady. <laughs> Gloat all you want. That is how we play the Titans trivia gauntlet. I'm happy for you. Uh, hey, we got more Titans Blitz on the other side. We're going to talk about this Colts game. Stick around. Titans Blitz. We'll be right back. <laughs> Welcome back to the Titans Blitz coming to you from Nissan Stadium. It's almost Halloween. Creepy time. Uh, uh, it could be scary time coming up. Back with Mark Mariani. We got a big game in front of us again. Hey, what a game to have on Halloween for me because these pesky Colts, right? man, they've had our number for a while. Spooky. I was on the team in 2010 when they were 0-15. They beat us. We were going to go to play. I mean, listen. I don't like these guys, man. I don't no. want to mess around with them. I want to go to Indy and get out of there with the W and not even just not even have any trick or treats happening on on, on Halloween against these Colts. Man. I love. That. I feel a little I, bit like a therapist. Like, tell me more about your hatred for. Well, you got Peyton Manning and Andrew Luck for <laughs> yeah, years, right? It's just like, listen, we got them. We got them at Nissan Stadium early in the year. Let's just. Go take care of business and not give it a second thought. But it's hard to beat a team twice in a season, isn't it? I mean, this is going to be a hard game. It's funny that we just beat the Bills and the Chiefs, and somehow this is a must-win game. But it is, and we need to see it as such. Well, divisional opponent, and yeah. these guys have a ton of weapons on offense. And you got a, a version of Carson Wentz that's not turning the ball over. Yeah. Which is like, we want to see that Philly guy come, come out, come out hey, of the clock. You know, that's th what this, this game's weekend. for. Yeah, exactly. So, And Jonathan Taylor is an absolute beast. He's tough to bring down. Yeah. Um, here some highlights but, here but but Wentz Wentz is playing you know at a high level he's playing at the, at the level they wanted to see him in here he is in that atmospheric river we saw the other night uh he, you know they're rallying around the guy he's, and he's going to be tough to bring down but what do you what is the key to him my I, my thought was always just get him rattled I yep. don't think he's as mobile as he maybe even wants to be he's got two bad ankles this year get him rattled and, and get in his face make him move off his spot for sure and, and he will throw you the ball so when he gives you a chance to take one away you got to take it away but mm -hmm. you saw some clips of Michael Pittman Jr. in there mm -hmm. I mean these guys they, they can score and, and Jonathan Taylor you know running up and down the field he's tough to bring down so yeah like like I said, let's not take these guys lightly. Divisional opponents always tough. Throw the record books out the window. Yeah. It's going to be a bru bruising physical battle. And I'm glad that Danico Autry is now in a Titans uniform, but Serious. their defense is still really stout. So uh, it's a, do, you, do you think it's something they totally sell out on Derek and then it's going to be a Tannehill, uh, A.J. Brown kind of game again and Julio? What I always think about with the Indianapolis Colts is they make you earn 
every inch. They make you earn every yard. They defend every inch of the field. And when you when you do gain a yard, they hit you and they make it hurt. And, yeah. and Darius Leonard leads the way here. Uh, they got some big boys up front. And I'm, I'm telling you, the, these guys are a disciplined football team with Frank Reich. They, mm-hmm. they do not turn the ball over. They do not give you uh, unneeded penalties. And they hit you. They hit you. They're pesky, man. Yeah. And they're just like a, they're like a little brother that keeps just jabbing at you. So we got to take care of business. Um, I, I think this coach, you know, we, we're a coach very yeah. well at the Tennessee Titans, and uh, we're going to go up to Indianapolis on a business trip and take care of business. We are we have become one of the most uh, disciplined Titans teams that I've seen in recent history. So I'm liking the role that we're on, right, y'all? Yeah, man. yeah it's feeling good. Yeah, uh, DJ Pryor, thank you for being here. Mark Mariani, thank you, sir. Yeah, we'll man, see you bro. again. Let's bring home this dog.